Okay, so we're in our next location here in Death Valley, one of my favorite places to go. Um, I think this is a nice composition. You've got the wall coming up on the left here, and then you've got this kind of direction behind her, and then another little thing there, so she's kind of, be, kind of between there. Uh, this brings up a good opportunity for me to mention again, my, uh, this is a situation where it's good to have a light stand that's good for uneven ground. I made a video about those. There's so many times where the light stand needs to have longer feet in one end and shorter feet on the other. I'll put the link down below to that video. It's kind of cool. Anyway, this is one of them. This is by Draycast. It folds up kind of nice. And I'm going to have an AD600 on there. Got another one over here with a 10 degree honeycomb grid. So let's do this. You ready? I guess. All right. Give me the umbrella. No. Uh, yeah. All right, so first we take a test shot. Doesn't this look like a fake movie set from an old sci-fi movie? It's so cool. All right, so here we go. Sony a7 III, 35 1.4, and a polarizing filter. I'm not afraid to use bare lights, because it looks pretty good, even without soft boxes. The sun kept going behind clouds, making the landscape look really drab. But that kind of helped because the lighting on her made her pop out even more against the background. But then the sun came out again, and that looked cool too. I like it all. Unlike some people, I love working in bright sunlight. And then the sun went away again. With the brighter foreground lights and the 1.4 lens, you get this really cool 3D effect. Like remember those old Viewmaster things you looked into from the 70s? Really cool. So then we moved over a few feet and tried a different setup real quick. This time I used a softbox on the left side. And these ended up kind of looking like they were from a fashion catalog or something. Anyway, so then we were packing up and she was behind the car and I said, Whoa, that looks really cool. Stay there. Let me take some more pictures. And those turned out really cool. This is just without any lighting. This is just available light, which of course gives you a nice natural look. I love the way these turned out. This is a Zeiss 85 1.8. Then I aimed a light at her and took a couple with that. You never know. Always be ready to take a picture because there's good moments happening all the time. So some of those turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, I used the 35 1.4 for most of those pictures because I like the big sky and the, va the bigness. I like bigness. You like bigness? I like bigness. Anyway, so stay tuned next week for another fun trip with Marcus. Until then, I'll see you. Have a good week. Bye. This is not just a shot.